I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I, um, as promised, last video, if you saw my last vlog, I did mention that I'd popped into Poundland and that my next video would be a Poundland haul. So here we are. I do have a couple of other things from other shops, but predominantly Poundland bits. So I'm gonna share them with you first. If you haven't already, make sure you go get yourselves comfy, grab a cuppa, grab some biscuits and relax let's just unwind and relax together because i don't know about you but for me watching youtube is switch off time it's like my zen so i hope it is for you guys too first things first we have some clothes so i have been to a poundland with a pep and co clothing range the first thing that i picked up was 12 pounds in a medium and it's this kind of like high neck roll neck jumper which i thought would be perfect for our finland trip away i know it says mont blanc on it but We'll ignore the fact that that is France and I'm going to Finland, but still it's that kind of like ski resort vibes with the high neck, keeping you nice and toasty and warm, the mountains embroidered on the front. I just think that's really nice. Nice basic sweatshirt with something a little bit different. And yeah, in a medium, I got that one. And then they had quite a lot of sale clothes as well. I went to a brand new store that I've never been to before. If you're local to the Northwest, Macclesfield. Who knew? We actually went to do a walk in Macclesfield Forest with the dog and it was amazing. And I said to Tom, I'm pretty sure there's a really good home bargains and Poundland near Macclesfield. So can we just pop in? He said, yeah, fine. And then, yeah, I now know it's worth the trip because it was a really good Poundland and they had loads of clothes, loads of sale clothes. So anyway, I picked up these trousers and top set. And the trousers I got in a small, they were 12 pounds, but let me get the receipt because I know I didn't pay that for them. Yeah, I paid seven pounds for these ones. They've got a nice kind of like frill top, elasticated waist, very comfortable, relaxed kind of at home outfit. And then with the matching top, which was also in the sale, this one was um, in a medium in the sale from eight pound down to four pound 50, almost 50% 50 off. And it's just a basic tee that you could obviously just wear this with jeans i'm showing it the wrong way around um or like leather trousers or something and it's got that kind of like shorter hem at the bottom at the front rather and then one more clothing item that i picked up is this essentials hoodie now i'm assuming they got inspiration let's say from that um like that brand that has the essentials written on the hoodie and it's just got like embroidered on not embroidered it's like a transfer New York with the coordinates and then essentials down the sleeve as well. This was from the men's section. It's in a really rich chocolate brown color. I got it in a medium one, medium one, <laughs> got it in a medium and it was 14 pounds, but I had to show you that as a bit of a tube. It is my mum's birthday coming up and I needed a gift bag. So I saw this one. I think it's actually part of the new valentine's range because they've got all their valentine's bit in bits in store now um i did do if you want to see what is in store i did do a instagram reel and tiktok if you want to head over to either of those and i'll leave them linked below but yeah you can see what's in store including the valentine's range but yeah i thought this was so so pretty it's just like kind of gold hearts on a white base and i'm assuming it was a pound yeah one pound as was this card which i also got it's just a plain gray golden cream card with 60 on and then they've got these new range of double walled glass mugs i really don't need any any more mugs but i thought you know i can't resist just the one i'll just pick up one and then obviously share it with you guys the fact that they have them so they're two pound fifty and yeah, they're just plain and simple, double walled. You know what it's like when you can see the drink inside. And then for 50p cheaper, they had these mugs. They had them in two colors. They had this kind of neutral grayish kind of color. And they also had it in a darker, very similar in terms of like the kind of ombre effect or like rustic distress kind of effect, but in a darker version with like blacks and browns. So I went for one of these ones. I liked how big it was. It was a really like, it's a generously sized mug for a good cup of tea. So yeah, I picked that up for two pounds. It had some sale bits as well. And I picked up this in the sale. It's just an eyeshadow brush. I always feel like eyeshadow brushes are the ones that I need most. And this one was only 50p. These were also only a bargain price of 75p. And 
how nice would that be actually as a gift? The way that it comes on this like card and everything, 75p, I think it's so nice. That'd be nice in like a kind of pamper hamper if you wanted to gift someone that for maybe Valentine's. Um, but yeah, it's just a body brush massager, looks lovely as well and 75p, you really can't go wrong, even if it's just a little display one on your bath tray. I've spotted some new scents coming to the cleaning aisle, including this from Airwick, and it is in Fresh Spring Forest. And it was three pound, this plug-in with, they had the refills as well, actually. Um, it does come with one free refill. I should have probably, I've already got a plug. I probably should have just got the refills. But anyway, Fresh Spring Forest, I thought sounded a lovely. Boring purchase, but I just need some paracetamol and ibuprofen. Again, for our Finland trip, I've seen quite a lot of people wearing these kind of headbands as um, accessories and I just think it looks quite nice. I know it's a bit of a trend thing, but it's one of those things that's actually quite a practical thing so it can keep your ears warm, keeps the hair off your face, if your hair's maybe in need of a bit of a wash. And so it's a pack of three for just a pound. I see hairdressers rave about this hairspray. It's the shorts have got to be glued. They've got a range of products, but the, um, the hair wet look, gel type thing got really popular and they made it into a brow gel which I currently have and love and then so I thought I would try the actual hairspray that they do it's called blasting free spray for screaming hold and yeah I thought I would give it a go I'm currently using my Moroccan oil one up which is nearly finished and I do love that one so I thought that one could be next in line they've got lots of products from this Vido lifestyle range and I had quite a big selection of stuff from this brand. So this one is a wireless tracker, which I thought was genius. Obviously, they like the kind of tile ones, which we've got um, a couple of in, on keys, but you can put them in bags, wherever. It's just if ever you need to like find your keys, have these on your key ring and it will play like a sound so you know where they are. And does it have a tracker? Yeah, it's got a GPS tracker as well. Oh, you can put them on your pet's collar. And I just thought that was pretty good for four pounds, that one. They had them in black as well. Now the last of the Poundland items now, and again, these were only 50p each. So I decided to pick them up. For one, I thought they looked really nice. The actual branding, the fact that they're in like an amber bottle. It is glass as well, this one. So it's in white flowers. That's the only thing that I'm a bit like, oof white flowers I'm even gonna like that scent but even if you just want to again have them as a display thing I can't really smell it because it's got a seal above it but um even if you just want to have it more as a display thing on a bath tray I just thought these bottles looked lovely so this one is a bath soak 50p and this one is a bath oil again 50p mega bargain side by side they look quite cute as well so had to get those it says unwind with scents of wildflowers sorry white flowers sandalwood violet and musk so maybe i will like it with that whole musk let's see if this one's open yeah hmm it's not my fave i'm not gonna lie i think it looks nicer than it smells now a couple of things that i got from pound stretcher so if you've got pan stretch near you, then hopefully you can get your hands on these if you like the look of them. The um, first thing that I got were these set of three eucalyptus stems, faux eucalyptus stems, but how real do they look? And I really like the color of them. They're kind of got like a almost white ashy effect to them. So they're three pound a stem and each stem looks like that. So I've got one, two, three to go in a vase together. And I feel like that would be a nice full even if you want to like bulk out a bouquet with something like this, with like artificial flowers. I personally just like eucalyptus on its own, but they were three pound a stem, so nine pound in total for them. And then at two pounds, I saw this three pack of kitchen scoops and I thought these would be really good for, again, when we do our utility room up, uh, not utility, like our pantry, our walk-in pantry. Oh, honestly, guys, I cannot wait for the day that I get to style up the pantry, style up the kitchen, put everything away, everything have a home, we're so close. So if you're excited for that content to come, let me know. But this I thought would be great for in like those storage jars, you know, the big glass jars that either you have on display or within a larder unit or something. And the three different sizes would allow for maybe like laundry powder. You could have the smaller one in like maybe a bath salts one in the bathroom or middle one being for rice maybe. 
all sorts of uses for these but the fact that they're just plain and simple clear i thought yeah i'm gonna pick them up for two pounds and then last but not least from pound stretch i picked up this egg poacher because we are without a kitchen we only really have an air fryer microwave kettle toaster at the minute down in the basement in the utility room that we're using so i thought this would be good for i've had one of these before um but then i just preferred poached eggs on the hob we don't have a hob now so i thought you know what for the interim period it was only three pounds and i thought i would pick this up you just simply put some water in from memory you put water in an egg in each crack an egg in each pop them in the microwave and they make perfectly poached eggs i also popped to the works they had quite a lot of sale items on for their books and other items so i picked up a selection which i thought i would share with you First thing is this. Now, I am a big Wordle fan. Me and my family, we have a group chat and we're all playing Wordle every single day. We send off our results to that group chat. We still play, I know it's hyped up a while back now, but we're still, we're still on the world Wordle hype. Anyway, this book is called Word Fall. It's 350 puzzles and it's inspired by the game Wordle. So I thought this would be quite a fun thing for me to have. You guys know I love my puzzles and everything. Busy hands, tidy mind. Is that the right phrase? I think that's why I like doing puzzles and stuff. So yeah, this is the concept. I think you have to like correspond the numbered letters in the correct boxes and you have to like kind of figure out what the word answer is within six guesses. So yeah, I'll, I'll give that a go anyway. And then, yeah, that was only two pounds in the sale. Then I got some kind of like mindfulness manifestation type books journaling books that I thought would be really useful in my journey to conquering my anxiety and again keeping myself busy with doing stuff like this I just really really enjoy so the first one is called morning manifestation journal it's got a gorgeous kind of like golden white cover it was reduced in the sale to just four pounds from 9.99 and this is kind of like the type of book it is it's essentially like a guided journal type book whereby you've got physically things to fill out which this is why I'm a note taker I love just note taking anyway I've got this book and they do a couple of versions of it now and this one is the what I love about me book so the what I love about you book I filled out for Tom they've got a couple of others as well and obviously this one is all about you so something a bit different $11.99 this retails for which in itself I think is a great price to be able to fill out and give to someone but to do it for yourself and it was only five pounds reduced and it's a special journal to, to inspire reflection and growth the ultimate way to celebrate yourself so it's just a bit of self love in here and then i picked up this book called the anxiety sisters survival guide how you can become more hopeful connected and happy it retails for 14.99 but it was in the sale for just Four pounds says whether you're looking to manage panic, worry, stress, or phobias, or just want to pause your endless overthinking. Abs and Mags, aka the Anxiety Sisters, have insightful and practical research-based techniques without the clinical one-size-fits-all approach that isn't so helpful when your mind is racing, you're struggling with the physical symptoms, so common with anxiety, and you just want to get back to feeling normal-ish. So anyway, I thought I would give that a quick read through. Um, and then last but not least, I went to Wilco's, picked up some dupes for an upcoming video that I will do soon. I also needed to pick up some envelopes, some postage package things, and then also some of these, which I'm gonna use for my um, receipts. I need to get on top of my accounts. That's one of my kind of like New Year's resolution type things is to get on top of my accounts a bit better, my bookkeeping, that kind of stuff. And I thought at least if I have six folders, because when you're self-employed, you need to keep, I think it's the previous six years worth of receipts. So I thought I would buy six of these and have each one dated a year, like a business year, so that I know that all the receipts are not categorized and organized, but at least for now within the right yearly folder. Um, so that for each returns, if ever I needed to provide them, I've got them all in one place. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up. Is there anything else in that bag? No, that's everything that I picked up and wanted to share with you. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's little haul video. I say little, it's pretty big. There's quite a lot that I wanted to share with you. Hope you're all having a lovely day and hope you enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.